From ball boy in Middlesbrough to the hard lover as a worker, sensational 41-goal Macaulay Langstaff is a Rembrandt masterpiece discovered in Notts County's attic. Striker Langstaff's penalty shootout with Wrexham's 42-goal scorer Paul Mullen at the Hippodrome on Monday has been declared the biggest non-league match in history. Well-timed, Wrexham's shocking 3-1 loss at Halifax on Good Friday and County's 3-0 win over Wealdstone put both clubs on 100 points at the top of the National League. Before month is out, one will be promoted back to Football League and other will have to negotiate exciting drama of playoffs, where Wrexham was last defeated in a nine-goal madhouse against Grimsby. Coming from open play only, Langstaff was compared to Erling Holland earlier this season for being matched by Manchester City's monster goal. But it relies on its humble, unpretentious roots in Teesside, due to its incredible form and resurrection in a box like a Venus flytrap devouring passing insects. I was a ball fielder at Middlesbrough at the age of 12 and still a big Boro fan, but these last eight months have been special and I couldn't have asked for anything more in football than playing for Notts County. At the beginning of my career, I was a laborer for Stockton Town for about six months and playing in front of about 100 people until I managed to get a full-time job in football. Getting out of bed when it was dark go to work motivated me become a professional football player. Jamie Vardy and Ricky Lambert, who went to England outside of the league, had this motivation and desire, so there's a way to go if you want. Working in a factory worked for them and they showed what you can achieve. Obviously I'm playing at a lower level than Holland, so any comparison to him was kind of fun, but it also gives you some confidence to be mentioned in the same sentence as him. I don't have physical characteristics of Holland, but I can imitate positions he takes in box, because he scores a lot on back post and if that's good for him, it's good enough for me. Even though people say scoring goals is the hardest part of football, I don't believe it, because my teammates pass three players and put them on a plate for me in the box. But you have to respect what Paul has done for Wrexham this season and the comparison starts with the numbers we've reached. He's a proven striker not only at this level, but also in the second division, and he's had an incredible season. I only spoke to him once, when we played against each other on Meadow Lane earlier in the season, he came up to me before kickoff and said, hey, you're flying right now. He's very respectful of him. It's great that someone who's had such a great career so far has admitted it to me, and there's no rivalry between us. We're probably pushing each other to score as many goals as we can. I've never set myself a goal, because if set of 20 and reach it, I could be comfortable with that and never want to live in that space or be less motivated. County and Wrexham have scored 212 goals between them this season, with Langstaff and Mullen scoring 83 of them. Ridiculous, but incredible. It would have been a disgrace if both hadn't regained league status Wrexham has been out of EFL mainstream for 15 years, while Magpies slid right through Hood of Wagon in 2019. County boss Luke Williams said targets turn the world around in this industry, and now that you look at it, we completely robbed Gateshead to sign Macaulay for £50,000. But that was their charge back then, and it proved to be incredibly good value for money. It's like a robbery, but we're very happy with it.